Hi guys, my name is Yuli and welcome to Nerd Alert, where we talk about everything nerdy. For today's video, I have prepared a casual book chat where I'm going to talk about a few fantasy books that I recently finished. So I've prepared basically a series and one new release to talk about because I haven't been reading much lately and in April I read two books and a few graphic novels so I don't really count it as a good reading month. But anyway, so the first series that I'm going to talk about is the Night Runner series by Lynn and I don't know how to say her last name. <laughs> Very professional. The Night Runner series starts with Look in the Shadows, then Stalking, Darkness, and Traitor's Moon. I absolutely love these books. Now, the Night Runner series has four more books in it, and I believe that this is the first trilogy, and then there are the next two duologies. I think. I'm not really sure how that works. I think that this is one story arc and then the next two books are a different story arc and then the final two books are again a different story arc. Um, at least that's what I gathered from the summaries of the books. Look in the Shadows was recommended to me by my friend Sophia and she told me that it's basically gay fantasy and that's why I read it because I'm always here for more diversity in adult fantasy books, especially in the older books that were written like in the 90s for example because this was published in the late 90s I think and to see like open kind of LGBT representation in these books is usually a rarity and I always appreciate it so when I heard that this was another fantasy book that, that's also gay I was just sold immediately and I bought it. Uh, well I actually already had it <laughs> when I decided to read it finally. I don't know why I procrastinated it for so long but if somebody had told me that this was gay I would have read it way earlier. Now what I love about these books is that what I love about these books is like this. The chapter always looks like this, like the first page of the chapters and I absolutely love it, it's so pretty and I've done this so much. I would see like favorite moments, favorite quotes, but also some low-key gay moments that foreshadow what's to come because this book is like very low-key gay but then the second book is more gay and the third book is the gayest. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> Also look at my sticky notes. But anyway, so I didn't read it just because of the LGBT representation in it. I read it because I was curious about the story. And uh, Sarah Gill and Alec, who are the main characters, are just amazing. I love them. I love Sarah Gill because he's just the type of character you just have to love. I'm, I'm like, I am, I love him so much. He's so funny and also just such a tortured soul, of course. So I love him. and. Alec is just so innocent and small and like I also love him because he's so cute. Um, sometimes the way he's so innocent is just adorable and I love it and he has great character growth throughout this series and I can't wait to read the next four books at some point when I can afford them. <laughs> but yeah, I am just in love uh, with this series and I've done it so much except except for the last book because I listened to it as an audiobook in its entirety, but yeah. So, these Sergio and Alec are spies, they're thieves, they're bards, and I loved it because in the beginning Sergio started out as a bard, um, that's what Alec was told, that's what he knew him as. So I loved it because I've been looking for a bard book for a while and I have my eyes on the bard's blade, the covers here, which I think is a new release. Since they're spies, they have different missions in different books and this one here was the beginning of the mission. I later find, found out these two books were originally meant to be one book and that's why the events in this one are slower paced. Not many things happen in the first book but I still loved it because it, it's a great introduction and a setup for the next book and, and the third book. Uh, my absolute favorite of the three is the third one just because it shows so much more of the world and the characters and I absolutely love 
everything in it, but I also love the first two books as well. So <laughs> I think that this is getting so confusing, but I just love the, these three books so much. They're so pretty. And Sergio and Alec are just so precious, but also their friends are also amazing. And I just love the development and the growth of their relationship as well, because it's so... It's just so healthy and I love that and I stand that. So yeah, we stand a happy relationship. <laughs> I just love them so much and I really hope I can find some other adult fantasy books that feature LGBT characters who are like openly oh, LGBT. I don't think that this was helpful at all, but I just love these books so much and I'm so grateful to my friend Sophia for recommending them to me. This is going to be the last book that I'm going to talk about today. I was thinking of doing a dedicated review for it, but I just decided not to do it. I have a very long Goodreads review, so I'm going to link it down below and also all of the books I'm talking about today are going to be linked down in the description because I forgot to say that in the beginning because we are professional here. <laughs> So yeah, um, today I'm going to talk about the new release. It came out, I don't know when. This book came out um, on this date and I accidentally got myself a signed copy of A Legacy of Ash by Matthew Ward. Uh, yes, look at this. I tapped it so much. I was actually filming a reading vlog for this book, but halfway through it, I just realized that I wasn't reading enough and the vlog was boring, so I decided not to do it. And then, as I said, I couldn't really film a review because I already wrote it. And I, it, it's just a mess because I love this book so much. This is just exactly like the kind of book that I like. It is like a traditional high fantasy book that's also a new release, which I'm glad for because I've been reading mostly uh, back these books recently just because I don't always like new releases and I absolutely love this book so much. And now the first half is a bit slow because it's setting up the second half of the book, basically introducing us to the characters, the events and all of the plot points that we're going to be following. But on top of that it's also a self-contained story so you can read it as a kind of like a standalone with the promise of a sequel and I love that. I absolutely adored it. The characters were amazing. They have won some of the best character development arcs um, and growth and they are some of the best uh, friendship arcs as well because um, like two, there are two pairs of uh, characters who uh, became from enemies to friends and I absolutely loved it. I loved seeing their development. I loved seeing how they just grew from like hating each other basically to being ready to die for one another and I absolutely adored it. I also loved most of the character arts. I didn't like some characters but I enjoyed reading about them because they were interesting and their stories were very very well written and I, I just absolutely loved this book so much. I just want to read Legacy of Steel which is a sequel as soon as possible and it's coming out Hopefully, I think in November, that's according to Goodreads anyway, uh, and I just can't wait for it. And also, this cover is so pretty and I love it, and I admit that this was 100% a cover buy, because I didn't know anything about the book, and I think that this is the best way to go about it, because I was just reading it, and it just, uh, I love it because it's a slow journey in the beginning, it's a very slow and steady but I loved it so much because as I said it gave me the opportunity to get, to get attached to the characters and I just am so happy that I read it and look at all of these tabs. At first I wasn't highlighting and I wasn't writing in the books. I just had sticky notes and comments on them but then I started highlighting and like actually writing in the book because of how much I love it and yeah, it's an amazing story. It has two main plot lines, I feel like, and the villains are just, whew, especially one of them. One of them is just crazy, and I love them. I love that villain so much, and I'm not saying who it is, just, just in case. Um, <laughs> it's a spoiler. I don't know if it's a spoiler, but I'm not saying anything. I just love it, and I recommend it to 
everybody who wants to read it. So these are the books that I recently read and loved and I will recommend them to everybody uh, who wants to read some high fantasy novels. Tell me about the books that you have recently read and loved and what did you love about them? Have you read any of the ones that I mentioned or do you have any of them on your TBR? Tell me in the comments down below and make sure to like this video and subscribe if you wanted it. Stay tuned for a new video next week when I'm going to talk about the why contemporary books that I recently read and loved. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon. Bye!